One simple way to arrive at good digital filters is to apply the approach of windowing and Kaiser windowing is one of the best. We're going to show you here an example with a low pass filter which has been taken from Mitra's book on uh, digital signal processing, a computer based approach, third edition and we're taking the example that he has on page 539. In that example he goes for a 23 coefficient filter so we'll visit this result. Uh, we'll make it a low pass filter of course which is what he's doing it here and we'll make the target a sharp brick wall characteristic and we will display our filter gains here in absolute terms to start with at least. We won't use a frequency sampling design which comes up by default. We'll instead use least squares. This is also goes by other names like le least integral square which is precisely what it is in the frequency domain. It's also impulse invariant sometimes called also uh, impulse response truncation or even Fourier series method. All of these uh, methods end up with giving us right here at this uh, uh, discontinuity of gain an overshoot at each edge and this is the famous Gibbs phenomenon of about 8% overshoot. We'd like to reduce, reduce that overshoot and one easy way is to go into our user def facilities which uh, takes us in here to number 8 in the current user def release uh, and this is uh, windowing which comes up by default to be Kaiser and I click it on. You notice now that I have a second digital filter which is this green one it is rolling down very very smoothly. We have indeed taken away that Gibbs phenomenon. We uh, need to comply exactly with what he, he's asked for so if we uh, want to change this, this uh, uh, down the side lobe level we can do this by slider control. I've right clicked on that edit box and now I'm moving this and you can see that uh, if I wish to have perhaps a very low ripple then if I'm not careful I'll fall right on top of the original filter because I'll be doing almost no windowing whatsoever. Let's put his value of 40 dB on it which is what he's, he's seeking and uh, get rid of this slider look at this in dB terms. I'm going to switch to dB on this scale and get the same sort of scale that Mitra has. I'm going to go down to minus 80 on this, apply it, close it, and I can see that in fact this first side lobe has gone down in fact a bit more than 40 dB. I can be quite precise about that and also compare it to the original filter which I remind you is in blue here by going to tools quality measure and see what it was I had to start with. The, to initially the least squared filter that we got uh, and I'll move it over here uh, is showing us a um, about 20 dB side lobe but a transition width of only 0.03. If we do the same thing now I remind you what the filter looks like now green it should be much lower let's see precisely what it is quality measure on that take the user def and see what bring this down into view and now we see that we've gone down a bit more than we asked for we've gone down to uh, 43 dB down in, into the attenuation level uh, but the big price as you can see is that we've got a much wider transition band than was the previous the case in fact it's 0.1 so we can window filters get rid of those overshoots but the price comes in the transition width.